Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Retired Vet Show. <clears throat> On this episode, we're going to be talking about President Donald Trump. His gag order ruling has finally come down. He was in court today for the second week of his trial. And last week, the judge was supposed to render a verdict on whether he was going to be fined for disparaging the judge and the prosecutor or anyone else involved in this case. And the judge finally came down with his ruling today. And President Trump had either disparaged him on his social media platform, Truth Social, or he had disparaged him outside the courtroom. And the judge instructed him to take down all of his posts that had anything to do with disparaging the judge or the prosecutor, as well as uh, him disparaging him outside the court. So not only did he have to take down his social media posts, he was also fined collectively with him outside the courtroom disparaging him. <clears throat> so the, the, the trial will continue today with testimony from uh, that will involve around Stormy Daniels, which pretty much set this whole case into motion. The, the whole the the hush money payment paid by Michael Cohen to uh, Stormy Daniels to, as they say, not bring this story out during the 2016 presidential election. Now, if you remember anything about uh, hush money payments, you remember Senator Edwards was running for the presidency and he had a similar situation where he was pretty much convicted of this very same thing. And then he was then it was overturned in the Supreme Court nine to nothing because there is no law on the books against you paying off someone to, to keep them quiet, pretty much like an NDA. You don't say nothing. I'll pay you whatever amount of money that you're asking for as long as you keep your mouth shut. Whether the story is true or not, he didn't want it to come out, but it came out anyway. He still won presidency anyway. So, But now he's being tried for that very same act. So we'll see how this trial is because Michael Cohen, the lead, one of the star witnesses of this trial, along with Stormy Daniels, will be testifying. And we know Michael Cohen was convicted of lying to Congress as well as to the court. So we'll see how much weight his testimony will hold. And you also have Stormy Daniels who's gone out on various news agencies, as well as writing the president himself a letter stating that he did not have sexual relations with her. So we're going to see how all of that shenanigans will play out in the court, whether he will actually find at least one person on that jury that will say he's not guilty of these charges. But anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you could like this video, please hit, put that, hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to the channel for further content. And as always, God bless you all. Stay safe.